All right, welcome to the podcast, everybody. Um, I am your host, <laughs> Jake G, and this is the other host, Tommy G. And today we're going to be discussing what is it? Niacin. Sure. Did you, you just some? pop that? Yeah, I want some, please. Mm. Nice. Okay. What made you get into niacin? Ooh, that's a long story. All right. Let them know. Okay, well, I was at this grocery store. I knew I was almost running out of my zinc supplement. And uh, I think that day I just f***ed a couple of bitches. I, I muted the F word right there, but I, I F'd a couple of bitches. Mm-hmm. And the, so I knew I needed some zinc. So I went to the grocery store looking for zinc. It was a buy one, get one free sale. Mm-hmm. So I was like, hmm, okay, well, I can get zinc and then I'll get another one for free. So I scoped all the vitamins, right? Happened, one of them happened to be niacin. Mm-hmm. But the next day, I was at the library, and I was just walking through. On the table, there's a book. It said, uh, uh, Niacin in Psychotherapy. Mm-hmm. And I was like, whoa, that's interesting. I just saw that vitamin in, in the grocery store the other day. So I picked it up, and I sort of just, I was like, let's check this out. You know, it's fate. Mm-hmm. And I read it, and it was a book about um, this what guy. What was the book called? Sorry. I think it was something like nicotinic acid uh, for psychotherapy. Mm. So for like um, treating what this guy was doing, his name is Dr. Albert Hoffer. He was treating schizophrenic patients uh, in the 70s with large doses of vitamin B3, which is nicotinic acid or niacin. And the day before, the schizophrenic patients would be horribly just catatonic and and screaming and yelling at people and just having all kinds of hallucinations and delusions. And the day after they took two or 3,000 milligrams of niacin, they would be told, they'd walk down stairs and be like, hey, good morning, like what's for dinner? Or what's for for breakfast? You know, they'd just be totally normal. And uh, come to find out vitamin B3 is, uh, schizophrenic people are very deficient in this vitamin B3 Mm. and it's, the same reason that schizophrenic people are also usually addicted to smoking cigarettes because the, the nicotinic acid in the cigarette, uh, it actually helps balance their hemispheres of their brain. Mm. So nicotinic acid, vitamin B3, I read the book and it was like, oh my God, he, he found a cure for schizophrenic patients, but nobody knows about it today because probably because of money. So you think it's a, like a, what is it cure exactly? Like, well, Vitamin B, it's just a B vitamin, so it's a water-soluble vitamin Mm -hmm. that it just helps in all your energy production and breaking down uh, carbohydrates and fats, Um, but it also helps with cholesterol and stuff. What is your question? How does it cure it? Um, No. The mechanism? I I just want to know how, like, because since it is nicotinic acid, how does that is that just because it has the word nicotine in it? Does that mean that it... Because nicotine I associate with a head rush. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I feel a head rush when I take the, the niacin, but it's different. Mm. Do you really think that, um, like, say somebody's trying to quit cigarettes, if mm-hmm. they were taking niacin, that it would actually keep them from withdrawing? I think so, yeah. Um I looked this up and people are, they, they sort of, uh, they're like, no, nicotinic acid and nicotine are two different things. That's but, what I think. But if I you, uh, the first time they ever derived nicotinic acid, they, they did it by oxidizing uh, a molecule from tobacco mm-hmm. to get nicotinic acid. That's the first time they ever extracted it. So I think there is a similarity in there. Um, and you get a head rush when you mm-hmm. take niacin. Like your head rushes, your skin rushes, with blood too mm-hmm. and it, it's a, like a head rush it starts in the head and it goes down the body mm-hmm. which is kind of similar to like if you were to get really high on tobacco yeah i had a friend who worked at a gnc and he said that all of his products that they sold niacin in uh they'd get people who'd return them mm-hmm. like constantly because they were scared of the rush didn't know what they were feeling mm. um i also joe rogan i saw one of his podcasts and he was talking about how he took a nutrition panel mm-hmm. and it showed that he was lacking in b3 what yeah wow yeah. so simple yeah here yeah and so 
um, what foods would naturally have B3 that causes anybody to be deficient in it? Because it sounds like this outer molecule that nobody's found, but uh-huh. it's like, then we can be deficient in it. So what, it, what is, what has niacin in it that... Well, it's a B vitamin. There's a, a B3. lot of, there's a lot of it in, uh, well, there's actually not much of it if you get it in just natural forms. Uh, y- you can get it in meat, though. There's a lot of B vitamins in meat. Mm-hmm. So you, if you're eating enough meat, you should probably be getting enough vitamin B3. And in fact, the recommended daily allowance, the RDA, is very low. It's like, I think it's like 16 milligrams for men and mm-hmm. like 11 for women or something. Mm-hmm. But here, we're, we're not talking about recommended daily, like, like minimal. Mm-hmm. We're trying to get, like, we're dosing this. Mm-hmm. So one pill... It can't, comes in 1,000 milligrams, the, the brand that I like, which is Twin Labs. They're pretty, pretty like, pure, you can tell. And then the other ingredients in the supplement, just MCT and I think the gelatin capsule. So it's, it's good stuff. Okay, yeah, because I think we need to make the distinction and so that nobody accident, accidentally gets niacinamide. Mm, which that's is, right, yeah, yeah. Which is sold as niacin as well. Exactly, yeah. So there's different forms of niacin. The active form, the flush form. Mm-hmm is the niacin. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, they'll just say niacin on the front, but then if you turn it around to the back and it says niacinamide, that's the inactive version. Mm. Uh, you also want to avoid the uh, s- prolonged release or slow release because the way that they slow release it is basically putting a bunch of bad fatty acids in with it that won't digest, and so your liver has a hard time processing it all and it takes a little longer to digest, but it's, I guess that's a benefit for some people, but... If you're trying to get healthy by taking the supplement, you should probably stick with pure nicotinic acid and don't get flush free. You want the flush form, mm-hmm. immediate release. If It's not going to say immediate release, but it won't say prolonged release mm-hmm. is the one you want. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that shit is epic though. It's not, I like, they say it's good for just, you know, overall general health. It's good for lowering cholesterol. Uh, it's good for vasodilating the blood vessels Mm -hmm. in your body but also your brain so i think it's good as a nutrient delivery mechanism Mm -hmm. if you eat it with food it just now it it, you can open up your blood vessels and get it through into the cells Mm -hmm. um but it feels so freaking good and the chemistry of it is also like you look into it and it's a precursor of serotonin so it's practically translates in your brain to like if you take niacin, you're going to create more serotonin. And yeah. it's a lot easier way to go than, say, a doctor prescribing a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor that somebody's going to get addicted to mm-hmm. and dependent on. And it's literally going to take the serotonin out of their brains. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. I actually just took some niacin before this. And mm-hmm. I don't think I've taken it for the last, like, three, four days. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I always forget that I should take it because when I do take it, I end up feeling really amazing. Yeah. And I can feel like, like say I felt kind of pale or like I'd been eating incorrectly. Or, uh-huh. You know, I actually read uh, back in the day when I was looking at PMO, uh-huh. you know, yeah, like yeah. no fat forums, basically right. holding your semen retention and uh-huh. it, it creates a higher amount of chi. Yeah. And um, I hear people who mess up they feel the sluggishness yeah, and yeah, the, yeah. the issues with your brain feels slow and you feel sluggish and and they said that the number one fix was niacin and that's crazy soon it, right as soon as your body feels the niacin it's like all the blood starts rushing back through your body right it's amazing yeah it's I'm- cool I think we it's a good thing to let people know that they should try it out uh-huh. and see if it can affect them positively because we have given niacin to our friends Mm -hmm. who obviously had too much flush and got a little scared of it yeah you got we might have overdone it to them Mm -hmm. you have to warm them up to it (laughs) because it's really like a it's like a high in a weird way like yeah i love it yeah but it's something that you're not going to get addicted to because it's a b vitamin and it's water soluble so you just pee it out yeah and then and then you can't really take too much you know i mean you can at one time but because you're constantly peeing it out, it also means you're going to need to replenish and take it pretty often. Mm-hmm. It's not like a fat-soluble vitamin where you can d- take a, like 10,000 IUs of vitamin D. Mm-hmm. And because it's storing your fat, 
mm-hmm. you don't you don't have to worry about it for a little while yeah this is something it's good to replenish constantly i think yeah i hear, heard it does something to your cholesterol levels like it does something with the hdh versus the ldl can you yeah. explain hdh versus ldl to people or is yeah is that, is that necessary for people to understand kind of it's it was worth talking about i don't understand it so. okay it's uh it's hdl uh is the good cholesterol and then there's ldl which is the bad cholesterol it stands for high density lipoprotein so it's really not even a measure of cholesterol. It's more a measure of the protein that carries cholesterol in the bloodstream. And uh, so low density means that it's a larger molecule and it's more fluffy. And that's why it's bad in your, in your blood vessels. But a high density lipoprotein, it's a, it's a little bit more compact, it's tiny and it can travel through the bloodstream. It's not gonna clog your arteries or anything like that. Um, it's sort of a myth that H, there's good and bad cholesterol. Mm. I think it's all necessary. Yeah. There's, you know, like it, you could s- argue that LDL that's increased uh, on a blood blood panel indicates worse health, but it's not because of the LDL. It's because other markers that the LDL has to respond to. Mm-hmm. It's so it's not as simple as they tell you. Cholesterol in general is just demonized by the medical industry far too much probably because they created a drug called statins that can lower cholesterol and then in order to sell that drug uh in the mass quantities that they are selling it right now of in fact they offered it to me and i'm like 20 i when i was 22 years old healthy as a beanstalk and they're giving me this this freaking oh yeah you got a slightly elevated cholesterol meanwhile if you just think a little s- deeper one step deep deeper than the doctor which is still very elementary then you realize cholesterol is the precursor molecule Mm -hmm. to every sex hormone in our body. Mm -hmm. And whether it's a giant conspiracy that they started with a drug that can lower fertility and cholesterol and all your sex hormones and steroids that give us strength, or it's just about making money and so they sort of got to twist the truth. Either way, it's completely false. Like Mm -hmm. all the research on cholesterol and why it's bad, it was founded upon first off giving high cholesterol diets to rabbits and then and then checking to see whether their hearts were healthy when rabbits are really not supposed to be eating any of that high cholesterol they're supposed to be eating grass mm-hmm. so if, if they're going to feed them a human diet or like a predator's diet and then you're going to check rabbits to see if oh their cholesterol is higher and now we can demonize it at least we, we need to know that's where the research came from because hmm. i i never heard the fact that it came from rabbits um, I always heard, at least I heard on Joe Rogan, um, that he was talking about how the sugar industry, um, they fabricated the big lie and they actually um, were paid to demonize fat as the issue mm-hmm. um, in a way to push more sugar, mm-hmm. as if sugar was a healthy glucose level type of thing. And, mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah, I mean, if you have a high sugar product and but, you can put low fat on there, it looks good. Yeah, but I also... I. The reason the doctor told you you had high cholesterol, I think people need to understand, was because you were doing the ketogenic diet. Possibly. Poss- just possibly. I mean, y- you can sort of increase your inward cholesterol, mm-hmm. like your cholesterol levels, by eating a high cholesterol diet, but not much. Mm. Because cholesterol is produced in the body. So you can get it from diet, but it's really it's just something your body's going to produce. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, high cholesterol is a good thing. In fact, what you, if you're going to get a blood panel and you want to know whether you're healthy or not, you need to look at some more important biomarkers like triglycerides. You, you want your triglycerides really low. Like when I got my blood panel, I had, uh, you know, 270, I think, total, uh, HDL uh, and LDL um, cholesterol, which is pretty high in their, in their uh, standards. So... Yeah, the, you don't want to trust what your doctor's going to say. It's good to have the numbers, but you can't think that cholesterol is bad. That's all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that's the main conclusion of this yeah. segment. Mm. People aren't going to hear about niacin if they're just stuck in what is given to them by mm-hmm. the media or healthcare. It's like you, you go to men's fitness, you probably won't hear about it. Yeah. Huh? it's In fact, they keep it outside of GNC stores. Like, it's not right there, boom, on the shelves. They'll mix it in different products and stuff. But I think there's a reason, like to big tobacco, possibly that they don't want people just 
getting exactly what they need, like people who are addicted mm -hmm. to smoking cigarettes for the nicotinic acid. Mm -hmm. I don't think they want people just getting, in, you know, powdered, perfectly powdered what they're missing in their bodies. Yeah. So it, it could be a conspiracy, but I just want to answer that question you had about who would benefit most from this. I mean, anybody could benefit from it, mm -hmm. but people who are really down and out and just uh, depressed. So if you're depressed, it'll help you. If you're super angry, it'll help you just relax, build some serotonin in your mind, find a little bit of stillness in your in in your life, and then you can actually like listen to people around you for a second. Makes you more present. Makes you more present. I could see that. I noticed you could take niacin, and it's easier to ask for more because you know in your heart that you're you feel so good and ecstatic that you know that you would help them out. And so they mm -hmm. can feel that and they help you out too. Then it maybe makes your body like a little more excited to create that serotonin. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. That's what's happening in the mm -hmm. body. And awesome. uh, yeah, it feels great. Sweet, well, you know, thanks for watching, right? Yeah, I wanna make sure I said everything I wanted to. Um, it's just freaking awesome. You gotta balance it out with some, uh, some supplements that'll uh, boost your dopamine too, like trimethylglycine, uh, or if you eat beets, you know, there's betaine in there. These are other B vitamins that actually boost your dopamine instead of your serotonin. Mm -hmm. Balances out real good. That's dope. Yeah. And uh, I think that's it. Yeah. Like, niacin's a huge part of the equation if you're trying to trying to ball up on NoFap, if you're trying to get, uh, you know, perfect blood panels, if you're trying to be super happy, if you're a negotiator and need uh, that extra little oomph. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all uh, it's a good thing. You should try it out. Niacin, aka nicotinic acid, aka vitamin B3. Thanks for watching, guys. We will catch you next time. Bye bye.